Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at E-Trailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Yakima Ridgeback Hanging Style Bike Rack right here on our 2015 Toyota 4Runner. So the Yakima Ridgeback is a nicer hanging style bike rack than some of your other hanging style bike racks out there. We have some different features on there that make it a little bit more premium, a little bit more comfortable for your bikes. But the best thing about it is the quantity of bikes that you can carry. This is a four bike version, but you can also get a five bike version, which is very impressive. So if you have your forerunner filled with your friends and your family, and you all wanna go for a bike ride, you might wanna consider this bike rack. Whether you have the four bike or the five bike version of this bike rack, you are still limited by a 150 pound total weight capacity. So that's a total weight capacity. If you have a slightly heavier bike on this end and your lighter bikes at the end of your bike rack, perfectly fine as long as you do not exceed the 150 pounds. So let's take a look at the way our bike is mounted to this bike rack. We have three mounting points. So one, two, those are for the top two, and then down here for our seat or our seat post. So this works as kind of your anti-sway cradle. If you have that fully tightened down, you can see how much sway we have now. And when you wanna take your bike off, this is where you start, you press those levers and pull it out and see the difference we now have when it comes to sway. While I still recommend tightening down or using a strap for your front tires, this is helpful to reduce bike to bike contact. So let's take these other zip strips out. And I like how they're called zip strips because it's very accurate. You just press those levers and you pull the strip straight out a lot quicker than if you had rubber straps. But once those are off, you can then lift your bike up, bring them through the arms, and then you're ready to go on a bike ride. So one thing about having a hanging rack though on your forerunner, especially this one since it is kind of on the taller side, is that you're gonna have your bikes all the way up here too. So seeing where our window is on our forerunner, this may be an issue when it comes to visibility out your window as well as the ease of use of loading and unloading your bikes. Just something to think about. This anti-sway cradle can be folded in when you're loading your bikes to make it easier to use than fold it out when it's ready to load your bikes. You also have these nice straps or these nice cushions inside your cradles. Notice how these cushion as well as these have grooves for your brake lines. The same cushion is also on the zip strip on top that will help protect your bike's frame from extra scruffs and scratches. So the distance apart that our cradle sit at is center of one cradle to another. It's five and a half inches. Again, I have the four bike version here. The five bike version will be very similar, just another five and a half inches out. But when you do have this on your forerunner, there's definitely gonna be some length added to the back of it. So we'll take some measurements to see exactly how much. So measuring from our bumper, and uh, the furthest point of our bike rack is gonna be right over here by our Yakima Signature bottle openers. It sits at about 40 inches for the four bike version. Your forerunner is already gonna be a long vehicle, so if you have a smaller garage, that may be an issue for you. Definitely a measurement worth remembering whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot. And if you wanna make your bike rack a little bit more compact, let's say you're not planning on taking your bikes out just yet, or you need a little bit more room in your garage, but you don't wanna take your bike rack off completely, what you can do is fold these arms down. So there's this lever right here at the top, so you're gonna lift up on the arms, pull up on that lever, and then drop these arms down. So we'll take some more measurements to see the difference it makes. Um, from our bumper to the end of our bike rack, it now sits at only 15 inches of length added to the back of our vehicle. So big difference compared to when the arms were up. So if you need to grab something from your hatch real quick, since you do have a forerunner, it's nice to know you can just lower your windows just to grab it. But what if you need to open up your hatch door? What you need to do is take your bikes off first, then there's this lever right over here, push in your bike rack a little bit, pull that lever and just let it drop down. So I do like how low of a tilt or how deep of a tilt this gives us because then look at how much clearance we have between our door and our bike rack, giving us all this space to grab whatever we need. So whether it's our helmets, our bags, or even our cooler, perfectly fine since we can just tilt it away. 
One thing to remember is you do have to take your bikes off to do so though, so it will take a little bit of extra time. With it folded up like this, let's talk about how it fits behind our vehicle. So it does sit a, a little bit above our emblem, so we do see this in our rear window. Still not gonna be a big deal because you have a really large visibility back there. Obviously our tail lights are visible. Now our backup camera is offset and it sits kind of like right over there between the arms and the mast. So you're definitely gonna see your bike rack in your backup camera. You'll also be able to see a little bit around it but it may be an issue for you, especially if where you are requires that your license plate be visible at all times. Know that it does kind of cover your license plate. And let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. So this has a tool-free install. You just pop it into your hitch and then put this security pin into place. It's kind of your last resort fail-safe pin. Then you tighten it down with this locking knob. So this extends a wedge inside of your shank. Once that's tightened down, it creates an anti-rattle effect. So let's take a look at that. As we shake our bike rack just to simulate the road movement and bumps, you can see how mainly I'm just moving the car at this point. Because that connection between the hitch and our shank is secure, I know some people are worried because it does have an adapter, but it's a nice sturdy metal adapter, so that connection is good. If you want to, you can also add a cable lock to this bike rack, so it installs right over here and allows you to secure your bikes as they are on this bike rack. So my final thoughts about this bike rack is it's ideal for if you wanna carry around a lot of bikes pretty much all the time. You can carry around one or two, but this really shines when you get the five bike version because that's kind of rare to have the ability to carry around five bikes. Now this is still a hanging rack, so you still get all the hanging rack downsides as well. Not as stable as a platform rack, definitely a lot more sway, but with the addition of your anti-sway cradle and these nice cushions, it's still kind of the better of the hanging rack options. So all in all, this was a quick look at our Yakima Ridgeback hanging style bike rack here on our 2015 Toyota 4Runner.